Only in the 80s today. That has been a nice break from the extremely hot, humid weather that we've had of late here in Alabama. Went out of the north at 5 in Coleman. Still have a little bit of a tropical looking sky with the different levels of clouds around, but this evening, it looks really nice around here. We're at 74 before midnight. We'll fall into the upper 60s, some mid 60s by tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, it's a little hotter than today, but we're going to keep that humidity low enough that this 92 is a far cry from what 92 felt like just 24 hours ago. Look at these numbers in the morning. Aniana, Southside, Galesville, Oxford, about 66. Chelsea and Moody at 68. Northport around 70. Even Forkland. 69 degrees in the morning, Rockford to Jemison in the upper 60s. Then tomorrow afternoon, the wind is still out of the north. We may struggle to get 90 again in Aniana, Vinemont, and Haleyville, especially some of the high terrain up here to the north of Blunt and Etowah County, Cherokee County too. But I think in the Birmingham Metro, Forestdale, uh, through Helena, Chelsea, down to Jemison, up to Moody, very likely that we're topping out at or above 90 for the next several days. This little break from the humidity, technically it's a cool front but it's not getting that much cooler behind it. Today was really our one break from that. You can even see the north wind kind of baked into the clouds there as they're streaming toward the south, those puffy white cumulus clouds. This is coming around the backside of what was once Hurricane Barrel made landfall early on Monday. Now the circulation, the remnant low is tracking toward the northeast across New York and up into Vermont and in the Severe weather sector of that storm on the right hand side of the movement. There have been numerous tornadoes, some big ones across parts of New York earlier today. For us, it's the dry air that's coming south that's going to make such a difference, and that's the reason for the dry air right there. That area of high pressure, as long as it's in place, the wind just basically shuts off any influence from the Gulf of Mexico. See how it tries to come north? That high flexes a little bit more muscle on it, prevents the humidity and the moisture from coming back up, and that means for us the weather actually feels decent for a change. Pleasant weather, even though it's hot Thursday and Friday, dew points will be in the 50s and 60s. Saturday and Sunday we start to bring that up just a bit, and that's where an isolated shower or thunderstorm could come from. 10 to 20% chance of rain with highs in the upper 90s. Not exactly a stormy looking kind of weekend ahead for it. So it's comfortable in the morning. We'll warm to the low 90s tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 90s through the weekend and next week with a few hit or miss summertime storms all the way toward the middle of the week. You're watching WVTM 13 News.